Hey guys, what's up? It's Ashlyn Jade and welcome back to my channel. So, um, I think a couple months ago I did a piercing my cartilage video. I like took you guys with me to the mall to like get my ears pierced and I got it pierced with a stud and it's really cute but like I've always just loved like the little cartilage hoops. So, um... This video is going to be taking out my piercing for the first time and just kind of like explaining to you guys like I guess this is like a follow-up video but also like a changing out my piercing and um, just kind of like showing the process and I don't know videoing it might be cool and um, you might be going through the same experience so I just wanted to share um, Kind of my experience with my piercing it's been like about six months so um i've had enough time to kind of get used to it um it like see if it still hurts like how long it hurt um see if you like can sleep on it or whatever just all that type of information so it's just gonna be kind of like a follow-up video so yeah make sure you guys subscribe down below before watching and give this video a like if you like it and then comment down below if you have a cartilage piercing or comment if you have any piercings and how many you have so yeah let's get on with the video okay so i ordered a bunch of earrings off of amazon Amazon, Amazon, I said that really weird. Um, sorry guys, I'm like really tired. I don't even know why because it's literally only like 6.30. Um, okay, so I don't even know what I ordered, honestly. I think it came with a bunch of them. So I was hoping to get, like these hoops are really cute, but they're just kind of really big and heavy. So I wanted something a little bit lighter and just kind of smaller and good for like everyday use so this is what it came with um i don't even know what's in here um uh, i guess it just a bunch of little hoops cool okay i got them in like a rose gold color so i don't know if you could see that i don't know um is that it i think that's it yeah okay so there are four different sizes i don't really know what size to put in my ear <laughs> and to put in my piercing i haven't like actually taken it out like ever like most people like take it out to clean it and stuff but the girl actually said like just leave it in and like clean around it so that's what i did um my piercing never really got infected like it kind of started to but then i just made sure to keep cleaning it and then it like would go away like it would show like signs of like getting infected so like when it gets like hot or when um like you can't so you're always supposed to be able to like twist it like this and um it would like it would like get hard and like stuck and then it would like hurt and then it would get red and then it would get hot and but like not too bad so like i knew it wasn't infected but i knew that it like if i didn't take care of it then it probably would get infected so i never got like really bad or anything um honestly if you just like follow the directions and stuff um i can almost guarantee you that it won't get like infected and it won't hurt for that long like it probably hurt like it actually hurts really bad the first couple days and like you cannot sleep on it like i still can't sleep on my right side and it's been like six months but um i don't know you just have to be careful with it even if i still like sleep on it like if i sleep on my right side then like the next morning it will wake up and it will hurt even after like six months so i don't know i'm sure that will eventually go away like after years but like just be really careful with it and be aware that it's there i guess so yeah um i guess let's change this out i'm gonna put my hair up another thing with the piercing is your hair gets stuck in it a lot and like i literally had to pull out like this <laughs> this sounds so disgusting i had to pull out like this huge hairball like with tweezers so just be aware of that that happens that will definitely go down <laughs> um okay so this is what it looks like 
um, it can turn and everything it doesn't hurt anymore so what I'm gonna do first is I'm just gonna take it out ah I'm kind of scared I've never taken it out the back is really hard to get off oh, there we go. okay it's like, oh, my ear is so naked. <laughs> you can see the little hole. There's like some crusties in this earring. Ew. But I think that's normal. So now what, I'm going to clean it. And like on Amazon, I made sure like to read the ratings, to like make sure that this will be safe for my ear, that I'm not like getting like some really cheap earrings or whatever. Okay, I'm just cleaning it out with the solution that I got. I didn't get my ears pierced at Claire's, but I did actually use, um, there's like some weird laws in Utah that like, if they're not like certified or something, then they can't pierce cartilage. So I went to another place, but then I got the Claire solution. And I don't know how long you're supposed to use it for. I think you're like supposed to use it for six weeks but i still use it once in a while just to like clean it up okay and then the next thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna pick out which size of hoop i want i think i'm gonna want like a you want like a little one right like not too big i'm thinking this is hard with nails too I'm thinking either this one or this one this one's tiny. I'm not sure. I guess we could just try it and if it doesn't work or look good, then switch it out. Okay, so I don't know how these clasps work. I think they're actually like my other hoops. Oh, cool. Okay, sweet. So they're kind of huge. Can that fit in that tiny hole? That's what I'm wondering. Okay, um, so I'm gonna clean the earring now just to make sure. Clean it all up. All right, and now I'm gonna get this mirror so you can see what's going on. Okay, I'm gonna try and put it in. Ow, I feel like this is too big. Like, I feel like this is so thick. Like, how could you possibly get that through this tiny hole? I don't know, we're gonna try though. Oh, it actually went through. Okay, sweet. Ow. Ow, it's kind of like stretching it a little bit. Ooh, that does not feel good. Okay. This is what it's looking like so far. I think this is a good size, but I just really need to get it in there. It fits, I just can't close it. <laughs> ah, it's bleeding! <laughs> That's not a good sign. <laughs> okay, so um, it's bleeding just a little bit, but I think we'll live. It doesn't hurt that bad. <laughs> oh, so I don't even, it doesn't really like, is it a magnet? I can literally hear it like going through my ear. It's so cute, but like, I literally can't get it to work. I just dropped it. Um, my camera battery is gonna die. Let me hurry and switch it out. Okay, we're back with a new battery. And the earring is still on the floor. <laughs> okay, I found it. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Ow, these huge nails. I don't wanna mess it up, ah! <laughs> oh, ow, that hurt really bad. I don't think that's supposed to happen. I'm just gonna like, put my other earring again, like through it again, just to like, make sure that it's all good. Do you see that? 
That's blood. <laughs> oh, that's a lot of blood. <laughs> I was not thinking it would be this hard. <gasps> I think that worked. <gasps> I think it worked. Oh my gosh, I think this earring is too small for my ear. Oh, that was my neck. <gasps> Dang, that was really loud. It's like definitely in, but it's just too small. <sighs> okay, let's try one size up. Okay, those are cute. Oh, those are weird. Those are so cute. Okay, that makes me really happy. All right, now we're gonna try this one. <sighs> okay, let's clean the other earring while this is still in my ear. Okay, I had no idea this was going to take this long and be this hard. <laughs> I was just trying to get a cute little hoop earring, but this is a process. Okay. Okay, yay! Does that look good? Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's so cute. Oh, it's kind of big though. Kind of looks weird, but it's fine. Is that too big? I don't know. Let's put in another earring. <laughs> that was that was kind of a letdown, but it's fine. Because it's still cute. I'm kind of thinking of switching back to the other one. Ooh. I think it will go in a lot easier now because now it's kind of like used to it. Is that cute? I can't tell. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to the other hoop. Oh. No. Yep. Yeah. It's too big. Ah! <sighs> also guys, comment down below if you think I should get a double piercing. I think that it'd be so cute to have double hoops and then a little hoop up here, but my mom doesn't agree. So maybe if you guys get enough comments commenting that I should get my doubles, then maybe she'll consider it. It's just an idea. All right, what do you guys think? Do you think the little hoops or the stud with the ring? Comment down below and just let me know. I think for right now, I'm just gonna leave in the studs, but then I'll see what you guys say. And if you guys like the double hoop thing going on, then maybe I'll try it for a little bit. I'm kind of digging it, but I haven't worn studs for a really long time, so I kind of want to try them out too. All right, well, ow. There we have it, my little cartilage hoop. Oh, it's so cute, I love it. Okay, when I had it on at first, I didn't really love it, but now seeing it down and with other earrings, it's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna wear my hair up so that I can see it. Oh, that's so cute, I love it. Oh, now all I need is another hoop right here. Make sure to comment down below so that my mom will let me get it. <laughs> okay, well, I think that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful to you in some sort of way. Um, or you just enjoyed watching me struggle to get this little tiny hoop earring in for 10 minutes um thank you guys so much for watching this video um happy holidays um yeah i'll see you guys next time i love you and bye